Hi, I'm going to show you a technique um, that's going to help you um, eliminate a tracing a pattern or a design. Um, you know, you won't have to use any more tissue paper or carbon paper um, if you want to do this. This is pretty simple um, and it enables you to do designs such as this, which would take you a long time to trace. Um, you're going to see how I'm going to put this on in seconds. Um, so it's going to be pretty quick, so let me show you what you do. Um, you don't want to go right on bisque, um, sort of like when you're doing the paper technique. You have to coat a tile or a plate with three coats first. Um, you can use a you can use a fun stroke color, any kind of fun stroke color. You can use um, this is surface coats, which the new surface coats you don't have to put it in. Uh, you don't have to dip it into clear glaze, so I'm going to put three coats of surface coat on there. Um, now, as they do in the cooking show, I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to take out the dry one um, to show you. So this, this round tile and this plate are all pre-coated so I can show you how it works because you want this to be at least dry to the touch. Um, now, what you're going to do is you're going to um, take the water, um, soft fan brush, you're going to apply some water to the tile or plate or whatever you're doing it on. And um, you're just going to kind of brush it out a little bit. Not quite, not as much water as what you do when you're using, doing the paper technique. This technique sort of, you need the sheen to dry. Because if it's too wet, it won't come out. And you don't want it too dry either because it, it, it won't stick. You want it about 20 seconds. You it, it will take. When you see the sheen go away, then you know it's okay. You can... Um, Fan it a little to dry it a little bit quicker. But like I said, you don't want it too dry either. So um, you want to put it on while it's still wet. Okay, so the sheen's gone. It's still a little damp. I'm going to put my paper down. I'm going to press it down. And I'm going to use this little uh, spongy squeegee to get, the tech, to get this um, to stay on the piece. Now this design will transfer onto here. And it's nice and smooth. These little um, square, I'm calling them squeegees, but they're um, it's just a um, foam piece that you buy in the craft store. Um, you know, it's probably like a quarter inch thick, and you can cut them up. You can buy a big sheet and cut them up, and make little squeegees out of it. Um, once you do that, you want to peel the paper up, and as you can see, your design is on there, nice and neat. You can't reuse this really, but you just print. These are just printed off of regular. Um, copy paper. Just You can go to Google, you can do something such as this, which is um, just print it off of Google, um, Google Images, and um, I just print it off a regular ink, inkjet copy machine, transfer it onto here, and then I take a um, Fun Writer bottle, and um, this is what I did. I just, you know, go over the, the dots, it's just, it's very, very simple. Um, these three pieces right here are all done with a Fun Writer. Um, as you can see, you know, that I did this one, um, did this one, and just washed the background. Um, and it's great. It's easy. Even a kid could do it because they're just going over the image. This here, too, is something that would take you a long time to transfer. I transferred it, as you can see, in just, um, you know, a couple of minutes. Um, you can also take, I'm going to do this one other design to show you. Again, it's copied off of the inkjet printer. Put your, um, your water down. Like I said, kind of brush, kind of brush the water out a little bit because that kind of helps get the, the shine off of it. Um, I'm going to dry it up a little bit. Um, just so, like this, as you can see, the shine is starting to go away from the water. Um, so it's still, it's still a little damp. Put it down. Take the squeegee. Take my design and, and press it. You don't have to press too hard, but it, just putting the design right into the glaze. You should be able to peel it up. Now you can see I did this one a little quickly, so some of it didn't stick, so it might not have been wet enough. So you want to make sure you kind of get your, your piece, um, you know, you, you don't want to wait till it starts drying too much because it may not stick. Um, Here's another one I'm going to do, this one here, which is, um, this here is, 
you know, design I made myself, so I, um, um, I drew it out and then I just printed it off, you know, in the copy machine. Um, you need to go to your printer setting if you're using words because you're going to have to um, go to the setting and you'll um, use what's called the mirror image and the mirror image will um, give you it backwards so when you put it on it's the right way. So you want to do that if you're doing words. You want to trans in anything. If you want to change your um, leopard to be looking the other way, just do the mirror image. Um, Going to do this again. Put the, you know, put the water on. Um, now I'm gonna let it dry 20 seconds maybe at the most for drying time because like I said you don't want it, want it to dry up. I'm gonna put my paper down. I kind of press it down right away and then I use my um, squeegee. Press it down. Now you want to peel it up. Now, when you peel it up, if you see that the design isn't coming out, this one's working fine, but if it isn't coming out and you feel like, okay, it looks like it, then just put it back down. And sometimes you can take the, a DM sponge, squeeze it out, and you can kind of wet this side, and, and then it will, will, will get the ink down a little bit more. It's just that if you do that all over, sometimes you can run it, and you don't want the colors to run. But you can do that to get the design down better. As you can see, it's on there. Now, this took me all of, you know, 10, 15, or 20 seconds, not like, you know, doing another design that, I mean, tracing it with tissue paper or carbon paper. It's just a lot easier to transfer a design. You could also do um, wedding invitations, like something like this, where you, you know, I didn't do this one yet, but you can put it in the copy machine. I copied this from a um, wedding invitation, but now I'll have to reverse the image and then put it on there. Um, you know, or weddings or anything like that. So I think that's about it. Um, take a fun rider, fill it in like these here. And um, like I said, even a kid could do it and it's, it'll save you a whole lot of time. Um, I think that's about it.